Have you ever thought about what it must be like to go into witness protection and like get relocated into a whole new life with a whole new identity? Like your name has changed, your your spouse's name has changed, your significant other, the kids too, if you have them, like even the dog, like everybody's name's different, right? You're in a whole new space. You're in a different home. You have a different job. You have a different vehicle. Everything about you has changed because that old identity, you know, what you're leaving is no longer serving you. And in fact, it's kind of dangerous back there. So when one goes into witness protection, you get a whole new lease on life. Everything's different, right? Everything is different. You cannot communicate with anyone from your old life. Now I understand it's a little drastic, right? You can't even communicate with your family. Like I'm not saying all that, but I'm just saying just in general, like you have, you're cut off from the entirety of your old life. What if you could put yourself in witness protection? What if you could figure out how to change your entire identity to live the life that you've always dreamed of. Welcome to day six of the 88 days to manifest your best life or manifest your be best life in 88 days, whichever way you want to go with it. My name is Dr. Lisa Barr. I'm a doctor of metaphysics and divinity, founder and CEO of Heart of Inspiration, Lightwork Academy, and in-source strategic implementation. And all three of those entities, you know what we're all here to do, help you prosper in your purpose and live a whole and healed, peaceful and prosperous life, nothing missing, nothing broken. So on day six, what we're doing is we're finding victory. Now, I know some of you might not be into like the tarot deck, or whatever, but I want you to just kind of go with me for a second. So the number six or the sixes in the tarot, they represent a few different things, okay? They represent victory, right? Um, the six of six of swords represents leaving choppy waters, kind of, uh, and sailing far away to something new and calm, right? With a new idea, and we're and the changes in our mindset, and we're focused on the forward thinking. And the six of cups represents family, and it represents having people around you that are supportive that you can look back on the things that happened in the past in a rather nostalgic way and then say, you know what, that might not have been all great, but I don't need to hold on to all that old energy. I can bring it up into the new right now, take what's good and leave what doesn't work behind. And then the six of pentacles is being in balance to excess, being able to be a blessing to others, because if the blessing can get through you, it's going to get to you. And so this is what the six represents. That sounds like a very different person from who you are today. That's just my guess. My guess is you're probably going through some things and going through some evolutionary processes that would say, hey, Lise, I really want to change, right? That's why you're doing this. You're on this journey with me on this 88-day journey to change your life, to manifest the life you've always dreamed of. That's why we've put those dreams down and we're visualizing them and we're speaking out the manifestations and removing limiting beliefs and, and, and realizing that we're in a simulation and we get to change everything. And, but, and part of that change and part of the mirror principle is then settling into this new identity. In these first few days, what we're doing is we're laying down a foundation that then we're going to repeat over and over again and practice over and over again so that what happens is by the end of this time, you might not even recognize who you are. Why? Because you totally changed. So I want you to think about what it would be like, right, to, to literally go into witness protection. Like if you were on the outside and you wanted to protect that person that you wrote down in the journal of who you are, right, that, that person that's living that best life, that life of imagination and dream and newness and just beauty, all of that, that person, mm-hmm, I want you to imagine that you are who you are right now, 
or maybe you're outside of yourself in some authority, right? Your higher self is like the FBI or whatever, and the CIA, and they're saying, hey, I've got to protect you. I got to take you out of everything you're in right now so that you can live that life because that life doesn't exist right here. So if you were going to put yourself into witness protection, if you were going to create a whole new identity and live a whole new life, who would you be hanging around? Who would you not be hanging around? Who would you be talking to on a regular basis? Who would you not be talking to? Would you be talking the same way you're talking right now? Would you look the same? Would you act the same? Would you, what would you be doing? I'm sure there's going to be some things that are going to be different. You know, even in my own life, as I look at over the last very short three years, right, of me being full time in this. Now, I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. I've been in spirituality in some form or fashion, God, ever since I was knee high to a duck, but kind of officially, right, for the last 25 years. So I, I know, you know, I'm, I'm not new to it. But at this area, yeah, like actually living out my purpose full time relatively new. I can tell you that each and every time I stepped into a new phase of my new identity, every time I did, do you know what one of the first things everybody would say to me when they'd see me is, my God, you look amazing. You look so bright. You are radiating. That smile is worth a million dollars. Your energy is so light it's so vibrant. It's so intoxicating. It's so charismatic. It's so, it's so motivating. How? What's happened? What's going on? You look fantastic. Why? Because I literally shed some more old crap and left alone. And I literally took on and integrated the new each and every time. I integrated the new. So what I want you to do is realize it's okay to sign off on that old person. It's okay to say, you served me for a time and I had a great run and man, I learned so much, but I don't really need that anymore. I've learned the lessons I needed to learn and now I'm ready to go forward in my new identity. Believe it, because I believe that you're a new person. I see that that person that's that higher self. I see that person that you came here to this earth to be. I see you in there. And that's the person, man, that I want to talk to. See, that's the person I know you want to be. That's the person I know you want everybody to see. That's the person that I know you want to look into the mirror and have that person look back at you. So I'm going to give you a little quick, one more tip, okay? So when you get up in the morning or whenever maybe you go to the ladies' room or whatever you're doing, I want you to go into the mirror And I want you to say congratulations on all of your successes. Congratulations on that new house. Congratulations on that new car. Congratulations on all your new success. And I want you to smile at yourself. Okay, can you do that for me? Every time you go into the mirror, congratulate yourself on your successes. Because the new you has victory at every turn. All right, that's day six, gang. That's day six. So can you put down in the chat what we're congratulating for your new successes? Can you put a little bit down in the chat, excuse me, on the the comments, you know, wherever Can you put down in there who this new person is? Like, what's your new identity? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Introduce yourself to us. I'm happy to meet you. I cannot wait to continue on this journey. I'm so proud of you. You're doing a great job. We'll see you very soon for day seven. Okay. Now remember, and don't you ever forget, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. We'll see you soon. Bye.